Hi everybody. Now I am going to teach you the probability and statistics. First of all, let me explain what this probability. Probability is nothing but a particular event may happen or may not happen. We define a probability as a mathematical measure of occurrence of an event. It can be a random experiment. Suppose uh, before I move on to the topic, I just want you to tell you the basic concepts. Without that, you cannot understand anything in this. So, first one, random experiment. So, these are the basic concepts. An experiment in which the outcome cannot be predicted. Cannot be predicted is called a random experiment. Suppose, for example, when we toss a coin, we cannot say the occurrence may be head or tail. We cannot say which one will come. So, therefore, it is called a random experiment. So, in which the outcome cannot be predicted. This is what we call it as random experiment. Now, trial and event. In tossing a coin, Tossing is called a trial is called a trial and occurrence of event that is occurrence of head or tail is called an event. Suppose when we throw a die, we may get the outcomes as 2, 3, anything, 4, 5, 6, anything. So, throwing a die is called the trial and occurrence of 2, 3, so on is called the event. This is what the trial and event. Next one. Mutually exclusive events. Mutually exclusive events. Two events are said to be mutually exclusive events. If the occurrence of one event, if the occurrence of one event excludes the occurrence of the other event, Suppose when we toss a coin, we may get head or tail. The one event may be head, the other event may be head or it will be a tail also. So both cannot happen at the same time. Therefore, we say that these are mutually exclusive events. Now, exhaustive events. Exhaustive events. the total number of possible outcomes is 
in any trial in any trial is called exhaustive evidence so in tossing a coin we'll get two outcome so both the outcomes we call it as two exhaustive events this is what exhaustive events next one mutually independent events which is very very important for multiplication law of probability so for multiplication law of probability we need to satisfy mutually independent events mutually independent event is one of the important concept that is when two or more events are said to be mutually independent events that is the result of one event does not affect the affect the result of the other event so this is very very important that is the word does not affect so when we are tossing any coin or something for whatever the result we are getting in the first event it should not affect the result of the other event so we can have two or more events here in mutually independent events now the next one is definition of probability definition of probability let n be the total number of total number of cases and m be the number of favorable cases then the probability of probability of happening of an event of an event e is denoted by p of e so what does it mean n is the number of cases total number of cases and m be the number of favorable cases then the probability of happening of event e is denoted by p of e that is p of e is equals to number of favorable cases number of favorable cases divided by total number of cases that is 
m by n example suppose find the probability of find the probability of getting 4 in a throw of a die so this is the question find the probability of getting in a throw of a die so what is it number of favorable cases divided by total number of cases first you should check what is the total number of events how will you check it first you have to take what are the outcomes in a throw of a die how many outcomes are there in a throw of a die there are solution there are six outcomes in a throw of a die namely what are they 1 2 3 4 5 6 now what they have asked getting 4 in a throw of a die first you write down therefore the total number of events is total number of events is equals to 6 and we need to get the probability of getting 4 therefore number of favorable cases is favorable events is 1 therefore the required probability is therefore the required probability is 1 by 6 so this is how you need to find the probability this is the basic definition